moves himself up to second place. In the wall, hard goes Casey Kane and Martin Truex. Wow, that was huge. Look at that car. And you think we're not going fast here. Martin's all right. Unhooks his uh, cool tube. Look at that thing. What a hit. And Casey Kane is moving around in his car. Martin went over to check on him. Darrell, I get a feeling something happened to Martin Trex Jr. in that 56 as hard as he was driving it off in that corner. Sure does. I yeah, mean, I mean, he wasn't even able to slow it down, it didn't look like. I bet the, well, it's hard to say about brakes, but that looks like a car that lost its brakes. Four to go this time. Four to go and three. Oh, it's Hoyer in the wall. Hard. Hard wreck. He stays out. More, more, more wrecks down here. Turn four. Big wreck. Harvick in trouble. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Boyer's car, the front end destroyed. They, you can see the 18 and the 29 hit again there, and Kyle Busch just goes dead left. And Pretty much hooks Kevin Harvick in the 29. We have a monitor here. We'd like you to talk us through what happened between you and Kevin Harvick. Yeah, sure, no problem. I mean, it was tight racing after the restart there, and Harvick's up on the top a little bit loose, and I had a run, and I gave him room, and he kind of came off the wall. That's a bad angle, obviously, but, um, you know, and then he lifted early to let me go into turn three. I thought it was all good, and then he drives in the back of me there. So uh, made my car loose all the way through the exit and just made a run for those two guys to get back on my inside. and. And then uh, obviously Clint wrecked bouncing off of Harvick and it was just just uncalled for, you know, just unacceptable racing. And, um, you know, it's in the last couple laps, but I gave him room off of two. I didn't get the room. So um, just real unfortunate. I mean, I hated it. We, we tore up a few good cars there and our double mint Camry was so good today that uh, we should have ran up front, should have finished up front. But we kind of got marred back in traffic there and tried to fight our way back forward. So um, it was a really good, clean night. I probably passed the most cars tonight, but uh, there was one I couldn't pass. Uh, Kyle, uh, understand now you're being asked to go to the NASCAR trailer. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, no big deal. That's fine. Good to hash it out now. Might as well. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thanks. They're lapping past Landon Castle and trying to stay. Trouble. Out. Turn three, Mike. Sorry. Cars around everywhere. Three, four against the wall and sliding down to the inside. Reagan's in it. Casey Kane, Marcus Ambrose, Trevor Bain, and Brad Keselowski. And a whole lot of dreams just went up in the fence in turn three. And Keslowski may have been bumped by his teammate. Boy, it sure looked like it. Think back to that first caution, it was Kurt Busch that got into Landon Castle as well. Marcus Ambrose and that nine probably wondered what in the world and where did he come from? Boy, a bunch of them are wondering that right now. And he got smoke. hit twice. Or Reagan got hit. Yeah, yeah the six did there. there. See the two going up the uh, guy just clipped him. And here's David Reagan. Just getting pounded. Reagan's car is, I mean, it's already on fire. I guess that's from, from hitting somebody and breaking the oil cooler or something. Around goes oh, Vickers. Oh, no, another one. Low, 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 low. Watch me, both sides, both sides. Come on, come on, come on. Come oh, this is wiping low, out low, half the field. Job. This is a big one on the back stretch at Phoenix. Look at that. It Ryan like Vickers got sideways and then was perpendicular to the field. There's his silver car uh, up against the wall. You know, the first time I saw this, I thought when he got sideways that maybe the 56 got into him, but I don't think he did now. I think it was just from get Matt getting into the 83 of Vickers and getting him loose. And it's, you know, we've seen cars have trouble off of two over there. It must be really slick up high. Now we'll look at uh, Martin Truex's in car, which will show you that he did not get into Vickers. Yeah. Until Vickers was already sideways. A little contact there with Matt Kenseth. 
all clear, man. All clear, all the way, all the way down. Big crash behind. Yeah, Martin in the 50 tricks. Truex actually did a great job of getting through that without any contact. Take it up, come on, come on, low, 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 low. Watch me, both sides, both sides. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go low. Good job. Definitely threaded it through there. Yeah, Junior did a good job, and that spotter did an awesome job. Vickers right. sideways. Everybody tried to go low, but the curbing, the dragon's teeth down there, is is pretty steep, and a lot of cars bounced off that and into harm's way right there at the dog leg. The nose on these cars are so strong, man. Look at Travis Quapple get into that wall. That's huge. What's Digger going to see? Look out, Digger! Look out! Bye bye. And back in Infinity on Raceway, and yes, that is a live picture. You know, payback sometimes. Tony Stewart just got paid back for what he did earlier to uh, Brian Vickers. I'm not sure. Those are the guys just there in front go, of him. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah. There's Vickers, already made contact with, with Stewart. Vickers had worked his way into the top five, had to make another pit stop anyway. So the attitude kind of, what the heck, I'll let him go and then pay it off. And, and I can guarantee you that all, clear. Oh. all Vickers has been thinking about since he got turned by Stewart was getting in a position Looking to for do him. this. Looking for him. Where's that 14? Yeah. Remember when Vickers got turned around earlier, Ryan Pemberton, his crew chief, was giving him the play-by-play -play of what happened. Vickers said, I know, I felt it. Now, this is what happened earlier in the race. It's a run board with Stewart. That's Vickers up ahead. They're going down at 11. Stewart just leans on him and keeps leaning and keep leaning and just pushed Vickers into the, the tires yeah. down there. And, and this has been settled, and yeah. nobody else had to pay for and it. And for all you people at home that don't like it, contact NASCAR at boys <laughs> boyshaveatit.com, okay? Oh, trouble on the back, guys. See cars going around. Three cars around, mid-stretch. Truex wrecked. Mark Martin wrecked. Regan Smith in the outside wall. Caution at lap 215. 31 shop track. Stay low. It's all good. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Not sure. I don't, I don't think, he, I think I think Truex was, was really, I think he was about to spin out. From A.J. Allmendinger. Here. See, Truex, down, he was down, trying to stay down, off the two down, car, down, and he got loose trying to turn it off of him. I don't believe the 29 had any contact at all. Wow. Well, what Another a close call hit. for Almondinger in that 43. And Regan Smith in the 78, just nowhere to go. And Jamie McMurray in the one is going to sneak through here whew, and miss it. Trevor Bain also did a nice job of uh, getting through that. As did Dave Blaney, Tony Stewart. And Joey Logano. Look, I know these cars are safer. This is exactly what I talked about in the pre race show. The cars are safer, the tracks are safer, but these guys. They risk something. They, they're risking their, their safety every time they get in one of these things. Both of those hits to the inside wall. That was steel against concrete. They're still side by side there, Ellen. Let's send it back to you, but don't forget about Ambrose. He finished sixth here in the spring. And having a top five. Oh, right, hang oh, on there. Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy. sideways. Is he going to be able to save no, it? No. Oh, 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 what a hard hit. We're done, guy. We're in it. That was a hard lick. Man. Racing for seventh place. Ryan Newman, 39 to his outside. Yeah, you could see that car just start to wiggle where he was trying to get in the gas to be able to stay beside Ryan Newman and maybe complete that pass down the back straightaway. Overcorrects here. Hard, hard impact. Oh, see the rear wheels come off the ground. Look at the air that car got with those back wheels how hard it went into the wall watch the back tires here we well, look at the wall too oh. can't imagine what that had been like without that safer barrier 
Now, this is where we really have to thank NASCAR for all the hard work and efforts, the manufacturers, everyone involved that makes these race cars and these racetracks so much safer for the drivers. So the hands start to go. Yeah, and you can see in that position happens to everybody, even the very best in our sport. Mm. See how he's kind of sneaking up in there. Just ran out of room. Regan Smith got a piece. See Travis Quapple climbing in. David Rudeman. You know, when, when you look at that, Mark's there and Logano's there. I don't know where Mark was going. Yeah, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? I mean, look, Joy couldn't really go anywhere. They just, they all were trying to get to the same place on the racetrack for whatever reason. I don't know why Mark tried to jump off the back of the group he was in. Two wide metal 31, two wide metal 31, keep digging here. Yeah, I'm not sure Mark Mark knew Lugano Lugano was there. I don't think he knew. Low side, stay because right there, I don't stay think right he there, felt Lugano. stay right there, stay right there. Just rip that going. Watch Kurt Busch in the 22. We were on board with him a moment ago. He took a couple of hits as well. Yeah, he got hit hard in the door right there, and he was just about clear of the thing. Boy, Quapple got turned too and yeah. went straight up at the true X. And the Eight laps to go. Look at Jeff Gordon. Oh, oh trouble. trouble right there. Martin and Hamlin and Regan Smith with a hard crash. Front of you there. They both be saying coming down. Watch him coming down. See what happened here. Kind of ran into a roadblock. Gordon and uh, and Martin did. Boy, he oh, just about clipped Jeff Gordon too, right there. Regan Smith did. You can see that. But it was like Mark got detached from the 24. Jeff Gordon just a little bit. Denny Hamlin stuck his nose in there, but Mark came back down just enough to trigger that. You can see, got Jeff Gordon loose. That's what happened right there. He had to get out. Then Mark, as he tries to get back to Gordon. The 11 is there. And another aspect of this racing, DJ, Joey Logano in that 20 can't see through Denny Hamlin's car, so even if Denny has lifted off the gas there, he's got no idea. No. See this, you know, when Mark hits that right rear, just the angle that it sends Regan Smith in the wall is tremendous. Well, just once again, a testament to the safety of these vehicles now and the Hans device that you just see right there. is your winner. And Tony Stewart is up against the guardrail. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. This, mm. oh my goodness. Ron Fellow is also into the wall in that. Terrible. Still there, still there. Was about three hard licks for Reagan. Fortunately, David, Reagan, and David Ruderman climbing from their cars after those terrible hits on the last lap of the race.